Howdy tidy fellas, this is Tommy with Colonel Reb Scale Models coming at you with my entry to Michael Cohen C's Kursk group build that kicked off uh, this month and will go through I think August 23rd. Um, I'm going to be doing this little 172nd scale Revel, Revel of Germany Tiger 1 um, early production. Uh, this is my first tank, so uh, this is going to be interesting. I've been itching to do one and watch watch a lot of you military builders and doing the planes and the and the tank, and I've never done an armor um, build, so I'm I'm really excited about getting started on this. Whenever that might be, I just wanted to get this video up and posted just to let um, everybody know that I was going to be jumping in on the build. It should be a a big group of uh, builders um, that are going to be participating so it's going to be interesting I've done a little bit of reading on the the battle um, uh, and and you know it's the it's the largest tank battle in history um, quite impressive when you when you think about the amount of um, uh, armor and planes and men that fought in this battle um, so anyway so I was going to take a look at the kit real quick this kit is one that I bought um, back around 2001 um, and I've kind of cut the box up. I still have pieces of the box but they're not you know in the box. Um, they, it was in a plastic bag. Um, it was sealed. I just opened it just to have it a little bit easier so I wouldn't be fumbling around with that. Um, like I said it's a 172nd scale. Um, the instruction sheet kind of a flip page which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, pretty basic stuff. It's pretty detailed. Um, the only issue I'm going to have with doing it, um, other than just the fact that it's my first tank, is the fact that uh, the the two uh, color callouts um, and the the two um, uh, decal the decal sheets for the two different builds you can do. One is for a, a Panzer that was um, uh, used during the Kazarine Pass in North Africa. Um, the other as well. Um, early or late 1942, December 1942, and the other is March of 43. So I'll have to get um, a, a decal sheet uh, that is 172nd scale for a Tiger that would have been in um, in the Battle of Kursk. And then these are the decals. So I'll just keep these maybe for a, a later build, depending on how well this one goes. Anyway, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, showing of the parts here. Um, when I opened it a while ago, the first thing I noticed was that there's very, very little flash. And actually, it's pretty detailed. Um, let me move this out of the way so you can kind of see it. These, these are parts of the, uh, the actual engine. Um, and this is the, the turret is actually uh, three parts. So when I saw the, the, the engine parts, I jumped over to this sprue that has the, um, the, where the tracks mount the tow cables, the bottom plate of the tank, and then also the, um, the top of the hull. And as you can see, right through there, the grates are actually already uh, opened. So you'll see engine detail in there. So I was kind of surprised by that. I thought that was pretty cool for this size of a kit. Um, here is the, the rest of the, the three pieces, the other two pieces of the turret, and your road wheels and your idler. Um, uh, your drive wheels and, and idle bars. Here's your your barrel. Um, I have to get myself familiarized with some of these, these parts here. And then here are the tracks. Um, never, like I said, never done a tank before, so I guess this would be the bottom of the tracks, and then these are links that'll go on the top. So I haven't really looked through the instructions to see how that works. So if there's anybody out there that's built one of these in small scale, I know I've seen several guys building these little tanks in small scale and have used, uh, uh, had, had tracks that are plastic like that that can give me some tips on the easiest way to do this um, so I can get through with this, this thing and not get so frustrated with these little tracks and everything since it's kind of small. So anyway guys, that's going to be my entry for Michael's Kurtz Group Build. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tigers that are going to be built out there, so this one's going to be a tiny tiger. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to get this uploaded and try to get started on this after I get started on um, uh, the, um, 
the biplane, the soft width camel for Greg Huff's uh, World War I group build and then try to get some of these others. Hopefully by the time um, I get started on this I'll, I will have finished the Follow the Reich group build uh, which I'm getting very close to finishing and getting to the weathering of the sub and then I'm doing some detail parts on the uh, Jim Parashakis Italian front group builds which I still have not finished um, and then I also have to get uh, get going on uh, Frankie Day's historical aircraft which I got to try to finish by the end of the month so since this one's through August 23rd I'll be pushing that toward the end maybe even going a little bit more um, past that uh, hopefully not but you never know how it goes uh, kids will be getting back to school and everything next month so I'm going to try to get a lot of bench time in um, now that pretty much all of our vacation outings and out of town trips are going to be over um, until a little bit of I have a three day uh, camping trip later in the month but that's about it so anyway so that's my intro guys um, I'm really looking forward to doing my first tank uh, maybe try to do some weathering on it I don't know it'll be interesting so real excited so anyway I hope everybody's enjoying their builds getting uh, some progress done keep posting the videos and as always hotty toddy and God bless <laughs>